Another demonstration today. Protesters marched through the streets of downtown Victoria calling for a ban on horse-drawn carriages. Animal rights activists say that runaway carriage accident that happened last week proves their point that horses and vehicles cannot coexist on downtown streets. The city says there's a delicate balance, but it is keeping an eye on the carriage trade. CTV Stephanie Sherlock has the story. I thought he gets confused here. We ride it all around and we ride it in next to the ocean. They are a fixture of Victoria's downtown, romancing the streets and the tourists. I really liked it. I'm glad that we went in the routes through the neighborhood rather than we did not choose to go downtown because we didn't want to be near with all the cars. Or near the protesters. Speak up for the horses. A small but determined group gathering signatures, hoping to put an end to the carriage industry. We're asking for the city to ban the horse-drawn carriages, uh, either revoke the licenses or just put a straight-out ban on the carriages. If they banned them, I would probably be protesting over there against that. Uh, but it goes back to finding that balance. Activists point to last week's freak accident involving a horse-drawn carriage and a tour bus as proof horses don't belong. Well, I've just been seeing the horses in these conditions, and it's not really fair for them to be, you know, surrounded with cars honking and, you know, this really busy atmosphere. Uh, right now, I know that there are many people that are opposed to it. There are those that say with uh, strict guidelines that we should be able to continue it. And so I think we're, we'll continue reviewing it. Currently regulating the carriage companies and keeping a close eye on the condition of the horses. They seem very supportive of the horse-drawn industry, which is, which is very great. And uh, I'm so happy to hear that. But we're doing our best to ensure passenger safety and the horses' safety. I mean, I could see both sides to the argument, but I definitely think that the horses are well cared for. It looked to me like he's treated very kindly. Kind or not, friends of animals say the industry needs to be history. It's, a, it's, it's 2012. We don't need carriages in Victoria. It's just a tourism gimmick. Stephanie Sherlock, CTV News, Victoria.